Thus far, Youngstown State University trustees have dismissed the objections of the moneyed class that has long given their financial support to the institution. They have ignored the opposition of the faculty, students, and others on campus, and of individuals in the larger community. And they have shrugged off negative press coverage locally, statewide, and nationally. So, will the trustees be moved by a letter signed by 11 former trustees who are also lending their voices to the growing chorus of opposition to the appointment of a new president? I'm Bertram D'Souza, retired editorial page editor and Sunday columnist for the now closed Youngstown Vindicator, where I'd worked for 40 years. During my tenure, I paid particular attention to YSU because it's one of the largest employers in the Mahoning Valley and because of the huge amount of tax dollars dedicated to it. The board will meet Thursday and again will be confronted by an angry crowd as they were on November 21st during the Johnson vote. Rather than acknowledging they made a mistake with the process used in the presidential search and with the naming of the Donald Trump apologist to the top job, they've doubled down. Neither the trustees nor Johnson cares about the well-being of the YSU community and the Mahoning and Shenango community at large. The letter from the former trustees, which can be found in the description below, states, in part, We are concerned the current board actions negatively impact YSU's institutional integrity and credibility, thereby negatively impacting its students, faculty, staff, alumni, and the region it serves. Will the letter make a difference? Probably not, given the intransigence of the trustees and Johnson.